I watched Arnold, yes. Yeah. Arnold. Classic. Are you kidding me? Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> hey, Beavis. Today, we're going to be showing you a couple of 90s cartoon shows that maybe your parent will be familiar with. And we'll see what you think about it. All right. Did you watch YouTube or something when you were a kid? That was not YouTube. Yeah, that was. They barely. I barely had an internet. I you barely. Barely. I know Roly Poly Oly. I know the Thornberries, Rugrats. I think hey. we got this. Oh yeah. You should I'm know like, it. See, Chucky, this was easy. I love the Rugrats. I used to watch it with my oldest son. That he's now going to be 28. I used to put it on for him all the time. Aww, Rugrats! <laughs> this was huge back in the 90s. Yeah, this is like really old. Like, I wasn't able to watch it like this. You can do it, Chucky. Remember, it's just a slide. You can't do it, Chucky. Remember, she was evil. I know, she Angelica. was kind of really bad. I don't remember specific this episode, but it just brought back the movie, like everything, you know? I love the Rugrats. I love that when they were in their imaginary mind, how they all spoke, but then when the parents came, nothing. See, he's so brave. It's just a slide. <laughs> <laughs> they even made a movie. They, yeah, they made a movie. They, they think they went to France. You sure this will work, Tommy? It's gonna work. Yeah! It's kind of weird seeing like little babies talk like that. They're like, oh, like it's kind of like. Now, when you look weird. at like real little babies in the life they're all, what are they thinking? That was like a horsey, like no saddle. I got into watching Rugrats when I was smaller because of her. We used to buy all the movies and then have like movie nights and watch them like all. That was the 90s cartoon show Rugrats. And this popular cartoon show actually premiered on August 11th, 1991. Oh, okay. And it was the second Nicktoon or cartoon on Nickelodeon. Wow. wow. It's a little different than what they have now, right? Yeah. A little bit. The shows that I watch are more like, uh, we're gonna have to save the world today by hitting this one button. <laughs> I'm scared now. It's like we ring the doorbell and then we run away. Oh my God. Classic. Are you kidding me? Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> hey, Beavis. I yeah. love Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> you know this, you know this? We tricked him. <laughs> like, I did not watch the show. Uh, I just like here. know how it looks. I don't know what this show's called. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's probably like, uh, there's nobody here. I wonder who did that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like I know he he looked at them. He's oh. probably gonna think it's dope. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like it. Are you kids on dope? That grenade's gonna blow! This was only on MTV late at night because the context of this was like adult context in a comedy humor for cartoons. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> that is yeah. not cool. That was kind of cool. That's not cool. <laughs> you, what's your name? No! Uh, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what the <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Come here, little boy. Oh. I love you. <laughs> no, I, I don't. You, and like, if you this is all wrong like I that. I saw the first bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, you just keep quiet and play dumb. What does that mean? Let's go. <laughs> No? No. Yeah, I think that's over the top for him. These guys would come out at night because it was, the kids should be sleeping already at that time and the content was a little bit adulty. This, when it came out, was classic. I mean, everybody 
used to act out Beavis and Butthead. So that was Beavis and Butthead, which is a cartoon that's tailored more for the adult audience. So it aired on MTV for seven seasons from 1993 to 1997 and was really popular among critics. Why do you think that a lot of people like the show? Because it was different from yeah, a lot of like kind of edgy, things. kind of, you know, you know, bordered the line. I don't know, it's just not my type. You know what it is? <laughs> I'm more of a rebellion person, I always was. And he is not so much. So you know, I'm more like da -da 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 -da. Excellent! And he's like, oh, we should, you know, go do something nice. The stuff that they said was so off the wall and uh, no one had done that kind of humor like that before in a cartoon. And now there's so much diversity in everything you watch on all different platforms. You just have to do extremely stupid things to shock people anymore. And this one, this was a, a playful way to kind of do that. But soft. What light through yonder window breaks? Oh, I watched Arnold, yeah. Hey, Arnold. Oh my god. But through the air oh, the air 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 So bright that... Uh, hi, Gerald. Hi, Arnold. Hey, I'm Arnold. Sandwiches. Hey, and Arnold. Was name. Yeah, we used to watch this one, too. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Sorry. This party is for geeks. I know this cartoon. And you don't think it the nose. Geek list. Perhaps you're on the other How's list. How's everybody's that head shaped cool. like so differently? <laughs> I love the animation that way. And for some reason, all these 90s cartoons always had a little girl as a villain. Well, where is he? There's always the bully kid. He'll be here. There he is. Before you do. Look at There's football so head. Snowy. Isn't that what she called him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm crazy. How much I remember all of this. I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy. And you should never hit a crazy person. If you're so crazy, <laughs> prove it. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, watch me. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I've never. And then, you know what? I just realized that he, Arnold used to have. He had a kilt on. That was Hey Arnold, which aired on Nickelodeon from 1996 to 2004. And the show centers around a fourth grader named Arnold who lives with his grandparents in an fourth. inner city tenant or apartment. Yes. Was four, in fourth, fourth grade? So I was like, fourth grade? Wow, okay. I, I never really older. realized what grade he was in. The content that they had back in the 80s and 90s, there was always a bad guy, there was always a bully, and then there was always someone trying to figure out how to be the hero or to conquer the bully. And the, the content now for these shows have completely changed. Uh, do you think you ever watch shows where there's like a big bad bully guy and he's always the big bad bully guy? Not so much. Everybody's kind of nice to each other and... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. Rock the something. Rock modern life. Yes. I don't think I know this one. Oh, it's something to do with the chicken. Well, tomorrow's the big day, eh? Yeah. Walk me to my car. I like it. It looks like funky. I like oh, the way. Like cat dog. Uh, yeah. Well, gosh, I don't know. Uh, tradition? Well, okay. Hey, oh, boy. Ah. Ouch! You get the loot? Yep. Four dollars in cans. Let's show this bitch the time of Is that is that Australia? What is he? Purvis, the world's fattest rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. It's a nose. Flem Rock. What a sight! Flem Rock. Once America's favorite. Dad would for sure be like, we're going to Flem Rock. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Our last cartoon for the day is Rocco's Modern Life. The cartoon only was on TV for three years, but in 2019, they came back to Netflix with a 45 minute special. Oh wow. I kind of just like real people, like Raven's Home and Coop and Cammy Ask the World. Those are things that he's watching now that when his kids, when he has kids, they're not gonna know what Raven's home and all that stuff is because they're gonna have their own thing. So it's a salt it's all full cycle. After seeing some popular 90s cartoons, overall, what are your thoughts on these? Um, they were all pretty awesome. Like yeah, I, I think they're I awesome. Liked, I knew most some of them, 
but some of them I like hadn't even watched at all. Some of them are interesting, some of them I wouldn't watch. Maybe if it was the only thing to watch on TV, I would watch. <laughs> the way you put it, like if there's nothing else to watch well, in the world, the only, then if, I would watch it. If those are the only cartoons and I had no options, I would watch them. It's kind of uh, freaky to me that I am have lived that long that they're, you know, that it's now retro. But I think it's cool that they get to see that. How do you think cartoons have evolved from these 90s favorites to the cartoons that we kind of have nowadays? I would say for sure, technology-wise. Yeah. For sure, more like this generation than the past generation. I think back then, it kind of looked more like hand-drawn, like something that you would doodle. Back then, that was what they knew. If you compare it with the technology now, obviously it's totally different. And because, if they like make an, no. if they make an episode of like whatever the Hey Arnold is, and then like make one now, it's gonna be a big difference in oh, the yeah. technology. Yeah, they don't have random shape heads. They're like, I'm just gonna do a random doodle. Okay, now I'm gonna make this a cartoon. But I noticed we were watching a show last night on Disney Channel, and I was telling her dad in the car. It, the format's completely different. There was an episode where she had something on her face, a mark on her face, and she went to this dance anyway, mm -hmm. and she owned it, and it's, the whole structure of these shows I, are changing a lot. I like the recent content, <laughs> more oh. friendly to the kids. <laughs> right now, the content is more regulated, and to, um, as a parent, so I like the way. Some of these, they were like on the edge of being like, kind of not acceptable, but now I feel like, a lot of people are like afraid to do that because like anyone will be like, oh, that's not good for kids or whatever. I think most of them are kind of like either like they're really kid like kid kid shows or they're just like animated like adult. things that aren't yeah adult yeah. like not for kids. Finally, to end this episode, do you guys think you will watch more cartoons together in the future? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah? I hope so. I would, I'm gonna push it. I would say eh, but at the same time, we should have those special moments. Everything now is kind of like mediocre. Yeah. I just wanna keep watching our alien shows. That's kind of cool. I like finding, I'm dying to find Bigfoot. I like to know what she's watching, honestly. So I'll sit with her and watch a little <laughs> bit to see what's what's going on. I'm just trying to watch, like, on Disney Plus, Disney Originals. Like, literally, I don't have anything to watch, so I'm like, I'll watch this. Yeah, because they have nothing to watch these days. Nothing. Nothing. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids React. What's your favorite 90s cartoon? Let us know in the comments. If we mention your favorite show, make sure to hit the like button. Hey guys, I'm Jesse, associate producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. What do you guys want to see our kids and parents react to next? Let us know down in the comments. Bye guys.